Hey, how's it going everybody? In today's video, I'm going to explain borders in CSS. We'll need some sample elements to work with. I recommend creating an H1 header tag. Type in maybe your name. And a paragraph. We'll need a pair of paragraph tags. I'll generate some text by typing lorem, then hitting tab. Let's go to our CSS style sheet. Let's add a border around our H1 element. H1, curly braces. We can select a border style with the border dash style property. First, we have solid. Our border is a solid line. There is dashed. We have a dashed line. Dotted. Double for a double border. Groove. Ridge. Inset. Outset or none. If something has a border naturally, you can remove it. Let's pick a solid border. You can change the width of the border with the border width property. Border dash width. By default, it's one. Let's increase that to two or even three, four, five. Border width is for the border thickness. I think three would be good for this example. You can change the color with the border color property. Then pick a color. I'll use the built-in color picker and use HSL values. Let's go with a purple color. Something like that's good. You can even round the corners with the border radius property. Border dash radius. The higher the number in pixels, the more rounded the corners are gonna be. That's five. This is 10. 15, 20. Okay, just out of curiosity, what if we do like 100? Okay, it seems like there's a maximum. You can only round at the corner so far. So it looks like the max is 20. All right, there's also a shorthand syntax. In place of listing three different properties for the style, width, and color, we can do that all at once. Let's eliminate these three lines. We'll use shorthand syntax. For the border, I would like three, pixels solid then i'll list a color and use the color picker again i would like purple i don't quite remember what we had but it was something like that yeah that is the shorthand syntax you type border the border width the border style then the border color but border radius is still a separate property let's add a border to our paragraph now we will select the p tag there is directional shorthand syntax if you want just one of the borders. Let's begin with the bottom. Border dash bottom. Then we can list a border width, border style, then a color. And this would only apply to the bottom border of our paragraph. Let's go with three pixels, solid, then red. But I'm gonna pick a more specific kind of red. There we go. So that is border bottom. We're only applying a border to the bottom of our element. Then there's border top, border dash top. Let's go with three pixels, solid again, and then a color. I'll go with yellow. There we are, border left, three pixels. Let's try dotted this time, then orange. Mm, that's good. Then border right, border dash right. Three pixels dotted again, then I will pick green. Maybe like a light green. There we are. Then we'll set the border radius as well. This would apply for all of the borders. Let's try 10. Not bad. All right, everybody, that is how to create CSS borders.